sure he'd want us to retrieve his family cake. Yeah. Go grab the thing. Jump in, do the swim, and take it. Legit, eh? My main man, bro. <laughs> Won't be that Legit, simple. eh? Electromagnetic buoy. He's not a Dr. man. M. He's a trash panda. All around the island to snag approaching metal boats. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member exactly. of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. What a time. Jump on the shark and possess him. You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to it would have been kind of cool having an open world on this island. Them once, they'll follow wherever you go. I totally get why they didn't do it that way, but it would have been cool having one more world to Jump on the explore. Shark You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. After you've befriended them once, they'll follow wherever you go. Lead that pack of sharks to the buoy. Heads up! Looks like Dr. M has installed an automated marine defense system. Where am I going? I uh... What is going on? I feel like we are way off course, but we'll just die before anything happens. You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. After you've befriended them once, they'll follow wherever you go. Lead that pack of sharks to the buoy. Heads up. Yep, I was going the complete opposite direction. I'm I'm glad that the buoys were still showing up. <laughs> that was a bit misleading. You'll need to jump off and get on top of the buoy to activate it. Stop talking That'll to me, Bentley. Sharks into an attack frenzy. Nice work. Find some more sharks and keep at it. Yeah, Guru is easily one of the worst parts of this game for me. respect them trying to like add a bunch of new characters to play as and stuff but man guru is way too one note and also ugly as fuck yes you're a force of nature aided by nature naturally koalas are supposed to be cute and you this know. is just the ugliest hey, looking cool, thing guru. looks like the defense system has intensified I maintain what I said earlier, that if I saw this thing walking toward me in real life, I would scream and stomp it to death. Whoa. Probably. Okay. Whoa. 
Oh, this might be a problem. Cool. No. Music transition is flawless. Also, I'm glad these sharks have the ability to launch themselves five feet out of the water. It's, it's making this segment go by a lot faster. Please tell me that's the last time I ever have to play as this awful character. Oh, good job grabbing the cane, idiot. Oh, 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 Guru. The cane's not lost. Idiot. We've got a diver on the team, remember? I'll have Penelope prep Dimitri for the job. You should feel bad. Oh, was, uh... Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that man. Fuck you. You're a credit to the team. You Just having a heart attack, old man? Freak me out. Heart palpitations, you little fat fuck. Good. Bentley's tending to Sly. He wanted me to prep you for the mission. We. Oui. Let's go now. It's time, time to kick some ass. There you go, baby. Demetria Natural. Your plan. She's worked to perfection. My plan to get you alone in a swimsuit. Come clean, my lovely, and play your cards straight. These are dangerous waters, and I'm a big, strong, macho, macho man. <laughs> okay, first, get over yourself. Second, I mean, get over yourself. <laughs> and third, jump into that water and find Sly's cane. It's the key to the Cooper vault. You can't lose it. So the language from such sweet lips. He's got I Grinch fingers. I die for the love. Dimitri, you can do so much better, man. Come on, don't waste your time. Quick, grab the cane. At I least go for Carmelita. You'll need to dodge whoa, your pictures whoa. So strong. Oh, this is like really trippy. My eyes, my eyes and brain are just not vibing with this right now. Should I be shooting the cane? Do I need to do something here? Oh my god. Okay, well, speak. You know, we were talking about deep sea abominations like an hour ago, chat. I think I've read somewhere. I could be wrong on this. But I think I read somewhere that, like... That glowing thing that attaches to, like, the angler fish's head. Did I just get eaten? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not actually part of its body. Like, it's actually an entirely separate organism that attaches itself to the fish. 
could be wrong. And now I'm dead. Good thinking. Take out Dr. M. He's the will behind that creature's attacks. Shit. I do not like Dr. M's voice under here. It's really fucking creepy. Only female anglerfish are bioluminescent and rely on bacterial symb symbionts, symbionts, symbionts to produce their light. I, after reading that, I still don't know if I'm right or not. <laughs> How is Dr. M breathing right now? What the fuck? That fish has guns? The fish has guns. Chat, I repeat, the fish has guns. Oh, and wouldn't you know, it's a pain in the ass to avoid. Oh god. Damn, that was not easy. Bacteria live in the fish and the fish gets light? That's so weird. I'm sorry, Dimitri. You did your best. Come on back to the ship. It's crazy how that stuff just, like, happens. Naturally. What that means is the light itself is not produced by the fish, but the organ is still part of the fish, kind of like how we have bacteria in our gut that helps with digestion. But our stomachs and intestines are still well our organs. Fair enough. That road don't throw down heavyweight. I had them so in basic Splufe terms, it kind of is like its own separate living thing. But they're just living in perfect harmony. Alone against a creature trap. Isn't that beautiful, Chad? Aren't anglerfish beautiful? Okay. I do not Slow like. Down. Remember rules one and two, both of which told you to get over yourself. Both before my magnificence! Yum yum! Gimme zap! I'm gonna check on Bentley. I do not like this you this quick fun being you. turn around to the jack to the Iverson, baby! Dimitri's having right now. That man is defined by the fact that he doesn't want to settle down or make love to really anyone within his vicinity. I just can't buy that he'd go for Penelope. Male anglerfish live miserable lives? How so? He took. Another blow to the head and your brain could snap. Quit your worrying. I feel fine. Did Dimitri find my cane? No. Dr. M managed to get away with it. Then we gotta go. You're going nowhere, pal. Any attempt on Dr. M or the Cooper Vault will be impossible with these radar towers linked to the missile turrets. Wait a second, Penelope, have you completed that work we talked about on your RC car? No! Oh! No! That'll work! Smash the drone, siphon the... No! Tower's matrix. Perfect. I don't wanna... Get your car onto a drone patrol pod. I don't wanna... It's a little obvious in exposing my ignorance, but, uh... What in the world are you two talking about? Explain Bad shit slide. Syllabic words. I could just show you. Bring on the demo. Pendekin, can you launch my RC car to that pipe? <laughs> With the fireworks, it will fly as the bird. Fly bird. I'll open fly. that comic the second I can pause All this right, shit. Nice, 
what beautiful timing that was. Do, 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 do. Oh, this looks lovely. How the male anglerfish gets completely screwed. I think that happens a lot in a lot of like different animal, I think insects especially. Isn't it a common thing for like the female insects to always eat the males? From birth, a male anglerfish is basically worthless. He's small, weak, and can barely find food. Fresh out of the womb and generally suck at life. Can you spot me some of the crab you're eating? <laughs> Unlike most fish, the male will never grow out of his face. He'll be hungry his entire life. What? He is born, however, with a great sense of smell, which is a driving force behind his existence. They smell? The smell is actually the pheromone of a female, which the angler will search for his entire life. Oh, there she is. She is beauty. She is grace. Huge, vicious, and capable. The female angler can lure in other fish using a glowing spine on the top of their head and then distend her jaw and stomach to devour prey twice her size. The male will realize his calling in life upon seeing her and start biting her. Wait, is he, are they actually that small compared to the female? While biting, his lips will start to melt. Internal organs will also start melting and fuse into the body. Body will fuse into hers, and the only thing that remains is a pair of gonads, which the female can use to impregnate herself. Basically, he becomes a pair of shiny new testicles for the female. I don't know if this is the information my brain wanted right now. Balls are like snowflakes. They're unique, beautiful, and every animal is only allowed one pair. The female angler, however, defiles this notion and confuses with multiple males, meaning she can have as many balls as she wants. Female angler fish ball sack. I hate these fucking things. I'm not doing this in incognito. This is a learning experience, okay? That's my excuse. Dude, they are so tiny compared to her. What the fuck? Oh my god. That is so scary. That is so scary. Oh my god. Scariest deep sea creatures. Oh, these guys aren't scary. They're just sad. I always see that blobfish. Oh, dude, I think that's that shark I was talking about earlier, where the mouth, it is, where the mouth, like, comes way out. You can totally tell it is, dude. There's, like, a shit ton of muscles in there that just, like, protrude. It's terrible. I've seen this picture. This thing's fucking scary. That looks like a demon souls, dark souls, bloodborne boss. And here's the crab! This is the crab I was talking about. God, these things are freaky. They're just too big.
man. Spider or, crabs don't need to be that big. I said spider because apparently that's their name. Giant spider crab. Crabs don't need to be that big. God, this is scary. Is this real? Chat, is this real? Is this real? <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> Chat, is this real? Is this real? Now that looks real, just because it just looks so fucked up in a way that, I don't know, it looks just too inhuman. You could tell this shit's fake at a glance because it's like trying hard to be scary, you know? It, it just looks unnatural in a fake way. This shit, this shit... This shit, this all looks unnatural in just a way that your mind can't even really comprehend on its own, you know? Fuck this. Sea spider, uh, here, uh, this headline, absurd creatures. Sea spiders won't bite, but they do have genitals in their legs. Look at it. God, why are the crabs like the scariest ones for me? Oh. <laughs> Man, oh man. My, my feet are getting tingly. I feel like I'm going to feel one, like, touching my leg. What, what are these things called? Uh, it's tard, tard something. <laughs> tard something. <laughs> I like how that's the only part of the name I can remember, but it's true. Tard tardigrade? Those guys I like, because just because they look stupid. If they were bigger, I'd probably be scared, but they're tiny. What the fuck? Water bears. Crabs are basically just sea spiders. I think I would rather have a big spider over a big crab. I said it. Nah, I'm trying to talk tough. That might not be true. Chad, is this real? Crabs are scary because they're a superior life form. I mean... If I imagine a, me going up against a giant crab versus a giant spider, I feel like the crab is, like, the harder one to kill because it's, like, wearing its own armor, you know? At least spiders are flesh. And I guess I've had ex more experience with spiders. I have crabs. <laughs> Have you heard of car carciniza carcin carcinization? No. Should I look it up?
Shit, I lost chat. Example of a convergent evolution in which a crustacean evolves into a crab-like form from a non-crab-like form. What? I don't like that. They say all animal become crab. Will human also become crab? Ancestor crustacean, ancestor mammal. Omnivore diet, grippy hands. Legs can walk in all directions, but not fast. No tail. Conclusion, human will not become crab. Human already crab. That's some fucking food for thought. I don't, I don't like this. Animals keep evolving into crabs and scientists don't know why. I don't like this. This is, this is not something that I need to be thinking about. I hate these fucking comics. I really hate these comics. This is exactly why. Usually all of them are just like walls of text. I hate that shit. I hate when someone's making a comic just to like try to make a point instead of actually having fun with it. Chad, is this real? Carcin carcinization, why everything crabs. That's probably why he wrote a book. It definitely seems like that's more his style than comics. I'm not reading that fucking book. Chad, is this real? I will say, I'll give him props. That dude, I'm going way off the topic of crabs here, but that dude did make a really informative comic about passwords. And how it's so much better. Hey, I referenced this meme earlier. Evolution creating crabs five separate times. I just think they're neat. <laughs> Who is I saying that to? I think, oh, I was saying that when Shiny said that they thought that owls were neat. No, that dude made a really good comic. It was a really good point about um, passwords and how... It's really stupid that like so many websites and stuff, they force you to like put numbers in your passwords and capital letters and stuff. When in reality, what they should be encouraging is just like longer worded passwords because there's only 10 digits, one through zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero digits, as opposed to 26 letters. So you're way better off making like a long phrase because it's easier to remember and harder for uh, algorithms to figure out. So that's been like my whole mindset making passwords these days. It'll be like 60 letters long because it's just a stupid phrase. Princess of electronic dominance. Try to guess my Twitch I password, chat. Use the L2 button and the R2 button to activate your vehicle's punchers. Knock the security drones off the track with your punchers and pick up their ball energy. Get it up and I'll open the jump gate to the radar tower. So I will give him props. I hate his fucking comics, but he had one very good comic that kind of changed my life. So I probably shouldn't be so salty. But also still fuck his comics. Just write a book, you dick.
The Sploo Fay has giant balls. You got it. If you type that in Twitch right now, you could totally hijack the stream. My only hope is that you would you guys would rather see the ending to Sly 3 as opposed to hack my account. I like X XKCD. Is that really what those the name of those comics are? That makes me hate them even more. Hey! I use the word hate too much. I probably use the word hate as often as I do fuck. <laughs> Two words that really aren't real, like the best habit to make out of. That was some fine English just now. Let's go. We're we're hitting. You can tell we're past the 12 hour point. I don't think my brain was like in the right mindset to learn about that carcinization. Or the whole, uh, multiple fish ball sacks fact there goes number two you're the queen of radar tower demolition Bentley has a huge boner oh. it's called what if international edition serious scientific answers to absurd hypothetical questions oh my god Sounds like something I'd read on the shitter. Boink. Boink. I won't lie, this has to be the least obnoxious car segment. This is a pretty note. Pretty good note, Jesus. I'm just like forgetting to include full on words at this point. But uh, this is a pretty decent RC segment to go out on. Also, that's me being optimistic and assuming that there isn't more of this bullshit ahead. What if everyone stood in one spot, arm to arm, and jumped? To which the answer is nothing. But now society has collapsed and everyone is stuck in one spot. I don't even want to think about that kind of shit right now. All, all my brain needs to focus on right now... ...is processing what's happening on my screen. Beating Sly 3 and trying not to turn into crab. That's all I need to focus on right now. With the guided missiles offline, we've got a chance at air superiority here. I'm in. I've rested long enough. You sure? This is my legacy we're fighting for. You think I want to sit this one out? Understood. The biplane launcher, although untested, should get you aloft. It's gonna be tough up there. Be tougher down here watching others fight my battles for me. I feel that. To disable the turrets, you'll need to destroy their sensor bank. Un Sorry, I heard something outside. My windows are closed, so it's kind of hard to hear. I'm only paranoid because uh, my neighbors called the cops on each other last night. 
it was fun to watch. You can perform barrel pulls with the circle button. Perfect um, just die. Thanks. To disable the turrets, you'll need to destroy their sensor bank. Unfortunately, it's only exposed for a short period after a missile is launched. Nice shooting. Good thing Penelope took out those radar towers, or the sky would be thick with guided missiles. I'm, I'm not about to compliment. Your fucking female doppelganger. Don't try to fish that out of me, Bentley. I don't give a shit what she does. She's hiding behind her little RC car. Well, meanwhile, Sly just suffered a major concussion and now he's fucking flying in an airplane. Being shot at by giant turrets. That's hot. That's hot, Chad. All right. Sly's hot, Bentley and Penelope are not. You're out of ammo. Why? So, I, I kind of like got a lot of lore on my neighbors last night. They're really loud and obnoxious. And I constantly like hear them fucking yelling and stuff, but it's usually gibberish. But I was able to piece together last night in one of the houses across the street. Um. The guy who owns the house is renting out the top part. I found that out last night. Um, and apparently the guy on top was smoking, so the landlord went into his room, and apparently they, like, physically assaulted each other. So I was hearing the dude who was smoking, he had his shirt off, and he was yelling on the sidewalk. He was like, YOU BROKE MY THUMB! YOU BROKE MY THUMB! And the landlord's like, you came at me with a pipe <laughs> and you are smoking in the house and this is my property. You can't do that. So apparently the one who was smoking thought that he had the case and he's the one who called the cops. So I always hear these guys like fucking yelling at each other Just and bitching, but I've never seen the cops get involved like they did last night. So the cops pull up and have to talk to them each separately. The cops walk across the street. I'm trying to eavesdrop through the window. The two start straight up yelling at each other again. The cops have to tell them to shut the fuck up. And you're not going to believe this, chap, but like five minutes later... Oh, that was close. Five minutes later, the two guys were literally, literally growing out and hugging each other in front of the cops. So they made up, and then they they were straight up yelling at each other on the sidewalk again today. But the smoker guy did give the landlord what it looked like to be an ice cream cone, so I think they kind of made up with that. So ultimately, it was a really fucking pointless endeavor, but. Fortunately, I've upgraded your plane with a missile launcher. Hold down the L1 button. But it was interesting to finally, like, once the cursor starts to actually play. understand what was going on a little bit when I was hearing them yelling and screaming. Yeah. I hate being this guy, but they these guys truly are the definition of white well, trash. Some sort of shield on them. Your cannon won't work. I live in a perfectly a fine launcher. neighborhood. I'm not concerned Hold about the, the people I live around, but they're just straight up Let annoying the because they're so fucking play. loud. Fortunately, my actual direct neighbors in this building kick ass. Those bats have the shield are down. Nail that guy before they come back up. What is happening? You can oh, slow the plane down. Sort of shield on him. Your cannon won't work. Fortunately, I've upgraded your plane with a missile launcher. Hold down the L1 button to target an enemy. Then release once the cursor starts to blink. Do I need to shoot at them normally? I think yes. 
I'm seeing these fuckers explode, but I'm not seeing my numbers going up. What's even more fucked up about that whole situation across the street is that the house right next door... There's this old guy who's always in an, a motor wheelchair, so you'll see him, like, zooming up and down the street. I believe his son is the landlord of that property next door. And whenever the dad wants the son to, like, come outside... I guess they don't have cell phones. It could be worse, don't get me wrong, but this is just something I hear every single fucking day, and it's like something I'm gonna be hearing in my nightmares 20 years from now. When that old guy is trying to get someone to come outside from those houses, he does this whistle. Where it's like... Over and over and over until someone finally comes out. And I didn't know that that was his son next door until a couple weeks ago when he was out there whistling and like a girl was walking down the street and she was like, are you okay? <laughs> I just heard him, he was like, oh yeah, I'm just whistling for my son. I'm hoping he hears me. Man, struggles. Hashtag just Milwaukee things. I love this city so much, but it makes it like, it, it so desperately does not want to be loved. Last night, this is gonna get really depressing. I need to stop talking about this, but last thing. Last night, one of like the busiest areas here is Water Street. It's where all the clubs and stuff are. You know, it's where all the college students go, especially. Um, the police chase this homicide suspect like throughout the whole city. And for some reason, this fucking person thought it was a great idea to leave the police like in downtown Milwaukee, which, stupid, inefficient, and he was driving for blocks with like a fucking pop tire because the police shot out his tire, so there's a bunch of college students th taking videos of this pickup truck zooming through, sparks flying everywhere, cops opening fire on the fucking truck. Um, the dude got out of the truck, like, right in the middle of one of the busiest areas where there's, like, five huge dance clubs right next to each other. Got out on the street and started opening fire on the cops. And the cops fucking killed him. In the middle of the street. In front of dozens and dozens of college students, like, waiting to get into the bars. I watched the video on Twitter and there's just like a- you can hear all the students just like freaking the fuck out and the dude's body is just sprawled out on the ground. You can hear a girl calling for her friend. Yeah, dude, it's fucked. The, it really, the worst part is that that shit's not like out of the norm here anymore.
Like I said, I love this city. There's so much amazing stuff here, but there's so much shit, too. I don't know if I'm going to be extending my lease here for another year. What the hell is that? I bet that's going to be the next thing I see in a couple weeks here. Seems like the natural progression for Milwaukee. I hope Milwaukee is therapist. I got stood up by a potential, by a student going for her psychotherapy PhD. I matched with this girl on Hinge a couple months ago, and then... Oh, shit. Dude, and we were messaging for so fucking long. Like, there's so much effort being put into it. On both ends. And... <laughs> funny enough, we were going to be going on our first date. But the night before... There was a shooting downtown. So we're both kind of like, okay, maybe maybe we should just kind of let shit settle down. Mostly her. I was gonna rough it out, because, you know, I'm a straight white male. I don't feel fear. She had just moved here from India a couple months ago, so for her, she's not used to this bullshit America stuff. Whoa. This is trippy. That made my eyes feel funny. I forgot what I was saying. That implies shootings don't happen in India, and I assure you they do way more here than most of the than than here in most of the country. I wasn't really that's kind of putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying they don't happen, but America definitely has one of the highest issues with it out of most of the countries. I guess I don't know much about the stats of India, but most data I have seen shows America way fucking worse off than most other countries with this stuff. But either way, that's not even the fucking point of this. I'm going back to the whole therapist comment. Um, that's where I really have a bone to pick. I don't know if I can handle looking at this again. Um, then, like a week later, we're like, okay, let's go on a date, and then she was in Texas, so it's like, okay, fine, whatever. A week later, she reaches out, let's go on a date, I'm in fucking Denver, okay, fine. Um, and then, week after that, she reaches out again, let's go on a date. No, sorry, I have COVID. The last message she ever sent me was, oh, Jesus Christ. And then she unmatched. And... <laughs> yeah, rip. We both told each other. One thing I liked about her was she... One of the, my favorite parts was, uh... She said we need to do the obligatory social media stalking before we meet, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my god, I was like, you're gonna be a real fucking trooper if you see the shit that happens on my social media and still wanna meet. I found hers on Twitter. 
she has no personality outside of therapy. So it made me think, is that all therapists? Because I don't really have much overlap with therapists. But I would assume that has to be the case for most of them. No, definitely not. Just give me time. It was so I'll weird, dude. Something. Like, every single face thing that she face. tweeted or retweeted Everybody was therapy-related. And it was all people on Twitter and their handles had to, like, fucking... I guess it makes sense when you specify that you have that PhD and whatnot. Kids strong. Like Where did you father. come from? You don't know anything about me or my father. Really? Well, who let you in on the secret of this place, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney works for you? This was all a setup to get the cane. No, my Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with a guy who'd try to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Just look at the real leader of your gang, Bitly. Whatever. We're friends. Equals. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? Good point. That's enough. <laughs> Time to meet the past. Oh shit, we're getting in. Bentley, you there? Yeah, pal? I'm about to head inside the vault, and I want you and Murray to come with me. We're a team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Nice! We'll have the Panda King give the man a boost. Stand clear. Spy. What do you mean? Are you going to get launched on a firework? Yep, that's exactly what they're going to the do. Fuse is lit. Buckle up, Bentley. We're about to What happened fly. to Panda King? He, he seems so unhinged after his first level. We're never doing that again. How are they getting that van out? That van just took a steep fucking drop. How does that come back out? I feel like I gotta stop ranting and actually pay attention because we're in like the last few missions here. I'm at that point where I'm just like saying well, whatever's on my head totally unfiltered. Yeah, it's gotta be like at least a hundred years old. An archaeological marvel! Glad you boys are impressed. Cause it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. <laughs> that was pointless. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Hmm. Could be dark in there. Could be dark in there. One of my coworkers is in school to be a therapist and he's really funny and fun to hang out with. I totally believe that. I was just blown away at just the amount. I guess, you know, it's social media is one thing too, you know? But it was just so many of these people that she was like interacting with. My ancestors sure. That was all they were doing on there. Nothing but It was their only personality gold. trait. Therapy. Trying to self-better yourself. All that shit. It just seemed almost exhausting, you know? I respect the hustle for self-improvement. But if you're living your whole life constantly questioning every little action and constantly... I don't know, just like reinforcing that notion to yourself. It's like, are you really gonna 
get anything accomplished? Family! Only I can progress now. Yeah, that, that was very, very abrupt. This place was started by Slight and Common the Second. He built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. So this part is like one of the coolest set pieces in this entire fucking series. I love this. This is without a doubt like one of the best ways to wrap up the series. I gotta get off this downer talk of therapists and shootings. <laughs> Are there raccoons in Egypt? Well, there was at some point, cookies. There was. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Look at all them coins. I genuinely don't know. They don't really feel like the kind of animal that would exist there. Sir Gallop of the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable knight and cunning thief. I don't know, they just... It, it feels like they'd be out of place, you know? I'm just too used to seeing raccoons here in Milwaukee just digging through dumpsters. Not like there isn't that in Egypt and shit, but... <laughs> I feel like there'd be some raccoon god if they existed there. Oh yeah, they worship Sly Cooper in Egypt. I thought you knew that. It's a very well-known deity. Salim al Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves. 40 thieves. What, is, what does that even imply? The stealth of 40 thieves? Wouldn't 40 thieves be noisy? Wouldn't, wouldn't the stealth of one thief be sneakier? I really hate my fucking life. The more thieves you put together, the less stealthy they are. Do you know a group of 39 or more thieves is called a gaggle? A gaggle of thieves. <laughs> Just... I hate you, sly raccoon. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'm trying to make fucking stupid jokes, and as you can see, my, uh... Joke making and gameplay abilities are pretty par with each other at the moment. Next raccoon I see in real life, I'm gonna fucking throw down a sewer grate because of this. His drowning animation was a lot funnier in the last game. That was just disturbing. Dude, people say drowning is like a... 
becomes really peaceful once you accept that you're drowning. But I still think that's got to be one of the worst ways to go. No, the game's busted, Al. And my controller. And the emulator. It's everything else but me. Shit's making me dizzy. Latch on! Okay, so literally in my mind, Cookies, I was gonna go between a murder or gaggle for that joke. A gaggle, isn't that for geese? I know a gaggle's a thing. I don't know for what, though. This actually makes me dizzy. Music's amazing. <laughs> Hardest boss in the game. I hope this is the right way. Look at that fat fuck. The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. Doesn't sound very sneaky to me. Sounds like kind of a dick muncher. And I am happy he's dead. I'd rather have my body just smashed by a giant hammer as opposed to drowning. Truly. But it would have to be like a clean blow, you know? It couldn't be a repeated thing. If it was repeated, then no. Then drowning's better. But like a hammer this size, like right here, if this would come up and it would be like an instant death, I would take that. This 
Sly's probably gonna die from something lame. The Ninja Spire landing was perfected in feudal Japan by Ryoichi Cooper. Like fucking food poisoning or something, or just some weird disease from when they become like tourists after they complete a mission. And explore like some foreign city. Bentley's gonna die because, like, one day he's gonna slip and fall while he's in the shower and no one's gonna be around to help him. Henriette One Eye Cooper sailed the seas and stole from pirates. Uba? Guess I really take after her. Yeah, this just screams. Pirates. Fuck, my AirPods died. The screams pirates. Giant laser walls of death. That would be a cool way to die. Giant skull laser. Disintegrating your body. I'd be okay with that. You. We're good, we're good. Look at all of this gold. All these priceless artifacts I'm coming in and smashing. Is this Tennessee Kid Cooper? Tennessee Kid Cooper learned to slide along railroad tracks in the Old West. Do y'all like that I have that bit of lore memorized? Is my knowledge of the Cooper family a turn on? This is kind of fun. Oh, that momentum, though. That momentum, though. these coins. Victorian era London was the stomping grounds for the most gentlemanly thief, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper. He looks gentlemanly as fuck. I gotta know what's powering all these death traps for these hundreds of years and who rigged them. It is, it's almost creepy, isn't it?
my god. And like, who started it? Who was the first person to even begin to think of a fucking death contraption like this? Besides being a thief, Otto von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. It's a nice capper on the series, man. This whole time he's always referenced all these old ancestors that you don't really know much about. It always made things feel larger than life. It's kind of fitting that it all ends in this giant ass vault that really still doesn't answer many questions or anything. Just raises more questions, if anything. Whoa! <gasps> this must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the Thievius Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. I wonder. You know what this family needs? A death vault, right? I mean, I would love to know the idea and motivation behind this entire thing, besides preserving legacy. But I also like the idea that you just will never know. Nice work, Dad. Nice work, Dad. <gasps> it's burned to death. Oh my god. Sly's dad is a troll. The claw this gang killed him to protect me. I wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Oh, and how does the vault conveniently end at Sly's dad, you know? There, there's some to be said about that. Well, like they anticipated the bloodline was going to end here. here. Because he was the last one? That implicates that he built the place then, because he knew it was going to end on him. This is going to be the payday of all time. Think of all the loot piled up back there. Do you ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? Yeah, No way. he does. Sly's cool. We're all in this together. Sure, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly, by himself. Watch out! Dr. M's goons? They must have forced the door after we opened the lock. Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls and I don't want yours to be one of them. <laughs> Come and get it. One packets. last Murray beat I've down. I've got a knuckle sandwich for all of you. And it's shout time. That feels like an interesting shout idea that should have been fleshed out a little more outside of like the last 20 minutes of the game. Last one just rebuilds it the whole time. How fucking exhausting is that? Each ascendant has to carve out more of the vault for their own portrait and traps. The 
This whole vault is just a giant dick measuring contest, really. I bet this would feel way cooler if I actually had, like, abilities. For Murray. At the same time... There's something about just matching the square button as Murray that always just hits different. No uppercuts here. That's a scary attack. That's just like Don Octavio's move that kicked my ass like, what? what is it, 10 hours ago now? How far we've come. Oh my god. Bentley, you enjoying the show over there, buddy? being so helpful, Bentley. Wasn't he just, like, contemplating a couple minutes ago no whether or not he in. plays second fiddle to Sly? Was that not a dilemma he was just having a few minutes ago? I swear. Was still the funniest line in this game. Much stronger than McSweeney ever was. That's right, Plughead. I'm like a semi truck with its brakes cut. I don't have time to get into a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. <laughs> then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father. You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. <laughs> That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret. I'm smarter than the other guys. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Like brotherhood. Brotherhood. <laughs> That's just what you I got very me. close there. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Koopa Gang. I tried. Caveman attack! This guy's stronger than he looks. Need some help. Bentley, those statues look like ancient security devices. Maybe if you took the treasure off the top of them and put it on Dr. M's back, they might activate it.
Okay. I pinned down. Need to fall back on my grapple cam to deal with these goons. I I gotta say I'm not upset because I like the grapple cam, but I was not expecting that to be used anymore. When did she become so horny for Bentley? She got kidnapped by the pirate and then suddenly she came back and she just has a thing for Crips. Uh oh. You fuckers. Oh my god, do the bombs actually do like no damage? Should I just use this gun on Dr. M? You know? Guess not. I am so sick of this game's broken logic, chat. It's too much to bear. Yo, what, what's going on? We good? They just keep coming. Go! Um, I'm I'm about to have to redo this section, aren't I? Could be fast. I pinned down. Need to fall back on my grapple cam to deal with these goons. Deal with these goons. Goons is just a funny word. I just like how the music gets so casual. And now Dr. M's dead. And there's definitely no more fights with him. Down. Well played, 
Bentley, but it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected positional data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Cooper's only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? Uh, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. <laughs> How cute. Too bad they're all gonna die. Spoiler alert. They're all gonna end up in wheelchairs at the end of this, and that's gonna fast forward 20 years, and they're all gonna be dying premature deaths. Turns out this entire vault is just filled with radiation. This is just overwhelming. And they're all amazing. Full of cancer How right now. Make a flying machine in the 1800s. Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Doctor M. Glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to banner a little? Oh God! I only talked with my equals, and Bentley said no. It's a big bubble. That bubble's not going away. Okay. Dr. M is actually pretty badass. I just, I think he needed more time. But this dude's got way more personality than Clockwork, but for some reason Clockwork is still way more badass. Explain that to me. I guess Clockwork is a giant mechanical owl. It's hard to not be badass when that's the case. That push attack is just so OP. Die. Kind of sad that we're blowing up all these awesome old automobiles. Doesn't seem like either of them really gives a shit. That was 
a lot of damage. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Monkey Man Jump. You've got some moxie, Sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. Uh, you might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slight and Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please, keep your touchy feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You Coopers, a bunch of dirty attention grubbing thieves. All of you, thieves! He's not really wrong, is he? Hold it right there. Both of you thieves are going to jail. Let's go. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. <laughs> oh, I love interest. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her. All the heroics. No one hurts my criminal. <laughs> my criminal. Oh, that's pretty fitting. Carmelita gets the final blow. Mm. What happened? Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You. You're. You're a trash partner. panda. Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. Haven't got much time. Let's go. Sly! You in here? Sly? The end! Game over! Bentley dies in the collapse looking for Sly. Ebb just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment. The end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card. Only this time, it was worth millions. Why? The months rolled How? by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing. We'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock van class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fake. <laughs> Just always bounces clear. I yeah, cookies, you got a cameo. Let's go. My new partner in crime. Lucky you, you're in a Let fantastic you, game. I'm in love. 
She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have Great taste recognizes great taste, yeah. Although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally. Cause I'm building a time machine to find out. Oh my god. That is the entire crux of the fourth fucking game that gets rebooted. They actually picked up that little breadcrumb and made that the entire basis of the and reboot. He went on to become a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, <laughs> and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. What a player, dude. He's the highlight of these games. The Panda King returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. Gross. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. <laughs> that would be fucking scary. <laughs> I would not want Panda King as my father-in-law. The guru returned to the Outback and took on some new Dreamtime students. One of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot Sly of... Sly had amnesia. He attention. didn't know where he was, last Cookie is. So Carmelita called him Constable Cooper and said, let's get out of here. I can replay it for you. Sorry for the ad. Sneaky devil. <laughs> oh, what silly games. I really wish we would have gotten a sex scene between Carmelita and Slime. I would have even settled for a scene between Penelope and Bentley. I, I just really wanted a sex scene in this game. Dimitri with anyone? Man, I love these games. Three was better than I thought it was when I remembered it. For some reason, I just really imagined two being so much better, and they were both pretty equal in quality. It's weird, because two the other weekend felt like it dragged a little bit because it was two by the numbers. And then three is the opposite where it's almost too gimmicky sometimes and can't just stick to basics. A little bit of the story I'm picking up is Sly's dad wasn't that great of a guy and was willing to abandon his team, had no real loyalty or care toward the people who helped him, which would lead to the logical conclusion of Sly's his own person, who won't just leave behind his team and does actually care for them, except the opposite just happened there. I think the whole point was that Sly, like, self- not self-detonated, but like the whole vault was buried. And it was kind of like, after all these games of Sly kind of living in the past, embracing all those ancestors, he finally was able to put that all to rest behind him. And 
all these games were like centered around his legacy and shit. And now with all that being done, he's able to let these guys live their own lives and be happy doing their own things. But I do agree the way that he went out was kind of shitty. But I think ultimately he just wanted to get into Carmelita's pants, so he had to fake the amnesia to do so. Do, do, do. I like your interpretation, thanks. Dude. I want to play four. I feel like I have to. But, man, I really don't like the character work they do in it. <laughs> It's not even like it's a bad fucking game. What does Wikipedia say? Sly Thieves in Time was met with generally positive critical reception. It was well received for content, graphics, writing. However, the return of the previous entry's stealth platform genre in the context of video games at the time, the sections for characters besides the titular protagonist, and the mini-games divided reviewers. Of wide condemna condemnation were the loading screens, which were perceived as common and excessively long. I'll be straight up. One of the things I did not like the most about that game is that Carmelita's in the gang. That just feels so wrong to play through that game. And she's on our side. I'll do it though. I just want to keep playing Sly games. Um, I'll see if I could emulate it. I haven't tried emulating PS3 yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, when I do play that, I'm not saying I won't do one long ass stream again, but I'm also not saying I'm gonna. We're gonna leave that vague and open-ended. I've been doing a lot of streams the past, like, two weeks. And I don't know if another 12-plus hour one will be good for me so soon, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go eat popcorn and then pass out. I've only eaten popcorn today, chat. That's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. And I'm just gonna eat more. Please eat some real food. I know, I need to make something. I'll figure something out. I might make like a breakfast burrito at frickin' 3 o'clock in the morning. But... Either way, thank you for hanging out, Cookies. Al, if you're still awake, thank you for being here, too. Uh, anyone else who is still here lurking, vibing, doing what you do, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, if there's any newbies still hanging out, go ahead and smash that follow button. <laughs> 
I have no consistent schedule whatsoever, so if you do like what you saw, following's the best way to stay up to date. Sometimes I don't stream for like three weeks at a time, and then sometimes I stream damn near daily and do two 12 plus hour streams two weekends in a row like this. That's the beauty, it's chaotic nature here. We got no steady consistency whatsoever. Uh, so yeah. Smash that follow button, he's a real content creator. <laughs> Dude, I'm close to 200. I hate talking about my follower count on stream, but I'm excited to hit 200. I got to 100 so fast. Like, within a couple months, and then going from 100 to 200 has taken me over a year. It's pissing me off. I want to hit that milestone. So, you hear that? If you're lurking and you're not following, you're my enemy. You're not- you're my enemy until you follow. And I mean that. Alright? You're my enemy. Become my friend by following. I only respect followers. <laughs> I am super close. If I hit 200 followers, I'm gonna play, um, all the Sly Cooper games back to back to back in one marathon. <laughs> if I hit 200 followers, I'm going to draw some uh, r racy fan art of Carmelita and Sly. Oh my god. Streamception. Look at the animation style for the new game. Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies. Our very first heist. Sly We've sounds been best weird. Friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. You have another cameo? Jump and press the circle button! Glad to know that never fucking changed. Dude, it's so weird, because it's like, it, it is literally another Sly game, but it just feels so off for some reason. It's- I'm not even saying it's a bad game, but it feels so off. Okay, Sly. Like, look at that. It's time for Ryuichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get it's too refined, too animated. I don't even know. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Police. I hate that. That exchange right there is more cringeworthy than almost any line of dialogue in the first three games. It already feels off. Am I, I don't know, am I being too pretentious about this? Am I acting like Sly Cooper is like some kind of fucking high art and it's not? I feel like when these games are being cheesy, there's like a self-awareness to it. But that joke just now felt like they were actually trying to be funny. Bentley saying, please. That's like an 80s sitcom, you know? Murray's still fat as fuck. That didn't change. Uh, yeah. 
I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper Sod! I can't believe we made it out of Paris in one piece. I'm gonna play it. I'm just gonna bitch about it the whole time. I'm sure that sounds exciting. These guards look like real bruisers. And real ugly, too. That was definitely not his best side. It's pretty as fuck, though. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired. Good night. Peace out. Thanks for being here, Cookies. Thanks for being you. Everyone else, thanks for vibing. Appreciate everyone. I'm tired. I got nothing left to say. My head is cheese. Have a fantastic rest of your night and catch y'all in the next stream. Smash that follow button. Still waiting for your dumpster home background? I'll work on it. I'm just fucking lazy. You know this. You know this, cookies. <laughs> All right, peace, y'all. Smash the follow button. Get Spluvate at 200. Smash and like. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite slide is.